they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come. Ah! Yeah, here we come. Tyler, I'm so excited this day is finally here. This journey has been one of love and teamwork, a journey I had always imagined. But this life we're building is beyond everything I ever thought it could be, and I wondered what I would write here. My last letter as your fiance and first letter as a wife. Mackenzie. The moment we met, I knew something was different about our chemistry. I remember standing in your room and wondering where this was going. I am so excited for our lives together. We will always have memories of small things that made us laugh, and I will always fight to make those moments even on our hardest days. I will be the best version of myself for you. I will be many things that aren't perfect, but I will always give you my best. You are my whole heart. I love you endlessly. You will look at me with Ariana and our future children and know that our home is my favorite place. You will always know that my love for you and Ari was never an option. It was always easy and it will always be my purest moments of love. I promise you I will always try to love you in the way you need. I vow to love you always. I vow to bring you home wine and popcorn. More than anything, I vow to daily add more vows. When life gets hard, when life is easy, when there are four kids and Goose is being a butt, when we have sledgehammers in two months, I love you forever. You and Ariana make life just more. I can't wait for all we've yet to do and become. I love you. You're my best friend. See you at the altar. You're a really good person, Mackenzie. You've got a good heart. We're proud of you. Now you will feel no rain, for you will be shelter to one another. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warm to the other. Now there is no more loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there's only one life before you. May your days be good and long upon the earth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>
have been witness to many mistakes and accidents and lessons learned over 22 years. I can say with confidence, looking at you two tonight, that it was no accident you found each other. On this day of your marriage, please raise a glass to Tyler and Mackenzie May your days be filled with love, joy, and happiness. May your lives be blessed and know that you have a support group around you called family. To my very best friend, my sister, I love you with my whole heart. To the new Mr. and Mrs. Nestle.